Welcome to English 7. I'm Trần Thị Thanh Thúy from Võ Trường Toàn Secondary School. Unit 1, My Hobbies. In this lesson, we will study three parts. 1. Vocabulary, Hobbies and Action Verbs. 2. Pronunciation, sounds uh and uh. 3. Grammar, review present simple, future simple and verbs of liking, plus verb aim. Part 1. Vocabulary. Number 1. Cooking. Cooking. Number 2. Cycling. Cycling. Number three, skating. Skating. Number four, gardening. Gardening. Number five, bird watching. Bird watching. Number six, arranging flowers. Arranging flowers. Number seven, carving good. Carving good. Number eight, making pottery. Making pottery. Number nine, making models. Making models. Now, you listen again. Cooking. Cycling. Skating. Gardening. Bird watching. Arranging flowers, carving good, making pottery, making models. And now, you look at the picture and check the vocabulary. Gardening, gardening, skating, skating, making models, making models. Arranging flowers, arranging flowers. Bird watching, bird watching. Cycling, cycling. Making pottery, making pottery. Carving good, carving good. Cooking, cooking. Go with verb ing. Go mountain climbing. It's dangerous to go mountain climbing in the bad weather. Go horse riding. He loves to go horse riding. Go camping. The children love sleeping in tents when they go camping. Go skiing. We go skiing most weekends in winter. Go shopping. Go fishing. Go swimming. Play. Play with sport. Play badminton. Play football. Play hockey. Play tennis. Play the board games. Play the musical instrument. Play the piano. Play the guitar. Play the violin. The verb do. We have some examples like this. Do judo. Do aerobics. Do gymnastics. Do karate, do judo, do aerobics, do gymnastics, do karate. The verb collect, collecting stamps, 
collecting bottles, collecting dolls. The verb take, taking photos. The verb watch, watching TV. Idiom. We have an idiom. A piece of cake. A piece of cake. Examples. We could do it easily. It was a piece of cake. I don't think learning a foreign language is a piece of cake. Part two. Pronunciation. Activity one. Listen and take the sound you hear and repeat the words. Unit one. Page nine. A closer look. One. Activity five. Listen and tick the words you hear. Repeat the words. Answer. Away. Neighbor. Burn. Hurt. Heard. Birth. Common. And now, you listen again and check your answers. Unit 1. Page 9. A closer look. 1. Activity 5. Listen and tick the words you hear. Repeat the words. Answer. Away. Neighbor. Burn. Hurt. Heard. Birth. Common. How to pronounce sharp sound uh and long sound uh. Is a short vowel sound. You will listen it's carefully pronounced. and repeat. Uh. And to make this sound, you just relax your mouth. You try. Listen and repeat. Uh. This is a long vowel sound. It's pronounced uh. Now you try. Listen and repeat after me. Uh. Uh. Activity 2. Listen to the words and put them into two groups. Pay attention to the sounds uh and uh. Unit 1. Page 9. A closer look. 1. Activity 6. Listen again and put the words in the correct column. Answer. Away, neighbor, burn, hurt, heard, birth, common. And now you listen again and check your answers. Unit 1. Page 9. A closer look. 1. Activity 6. Listen again and put the words in the correct column. Answer. Away. 
neighbor, burn, hurt, heard, birth, common. Activity three. Listen to the sentences and tick a uh, and a. Uh. Practice the sentences. Unit one. Page nine. A closer look. One. Activity seven. Listen to the sentences and tick a uh, or a. Uh. Practice the sentences. One. His hobby is collecting toy cars. Two. My sister has a lot of photos. Three. When I have free time, I usually go surfing. Four. One. I love the colours in their paintings. Five. My friend has an unusual hobby: learning foreign languages. Listen again and check your answers. Unit one. Page nine. A closer look. One. Activity seven. Listen to the sentences and tick a uh, or a.、Uh. Practice the sentences. One. His hobby is collecting toy cars. Two. My sister has a lot of photos. Three. When I have free time, I usually go surfing. Four. I love the colours in their paintings. Five. My friend has an unusual hobby: learning foreign languages. Part three: Grammar. The present simple. Examples: I walk to school every day. My father usually watches TV at seven p.m. She doesn't come here very often. Here is the form of the present simple. Positive, subject plus verb s o r e s. Negative, subject plus don't or doesn't plus verb infinitive. Interrogative, do or does plus subject plus verb infinitive. The answer is yes. Subject plus do or does. No. Subject plus don't or doesn't. We use the present simple when something is true, the habits or things that we do regularly. Here are some signal words: every day, every week, every month, every year. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, always, usually, often, sometimes, seldom, rarely, frequently. Two, the future simple. Examples: My brother will help me do this exercise tonight. He won't play football tomorrow morning. Will you go camping with my friends next week? He 
here is the form of the future simple positive subject plus will plus verb infinitive negative subject plus won't or will not plus verb infinitive interrogative will plus subject plus verb infinitive the answer is yes subject plus will or no subject plus won't we use a simple future to talk about an action or condition that will begin and end in the future and here are some signal words next week next month next year next sunday tomorrow tomorrow morning tomorrow afternoon tomorrow evening tonight someday soon one day it's time to practice complete the sentences Number one, Ngọc loves the cartoons, but she says she won't continue this hobby in the future. Number two, they usually take a lot of beautiful photos. Number three, what does your brother do in his free time? Number four, I think 10 years from now, more people will enjoy gardening. Number five, do you do morning exercise every day? Number six, where you used to play badminton next year? Exercise two, read this table and complete his report using the present simple. Next report. I asked some classmates about their hobbies and I got some interesting results. Everybody likes watching TV and they watch it every day. The three boys, Nam, Sun, Bing, don't love swimming, but the two girls, Lee and Hue, go swimming three times a week. Most of them enjoy playing badminton. Nam, Sun and Hue play badminton every day and Lee play the sport four times a week. Only Bing doesn't like badminton. He never plays it. 3. Verbs of liking plus verb ing Examples I like going to the cinema. Like going. She hates cleaning the floor. Hates cleaning. Like Love, enjoy, hate, plus verb ing. And here's our exercise. Complete the sentences using the ing for the verbs in the box. You look at some verbs on your left and complete. Number one. My dad enjoys riding his bike to the work. Number two. My mom doesn't like watching films on TV. She loves going to the cinema. Number three, I like talking to my friends in my free time. Number four, my younger brother loves playing Monopoly with me every evening. Number five, they hate eating noodles. They prefer rice. Number six, does your grandma enjoy walking? Remember, like, love, enjoy. I like going to the cinema. Don't like, hate, dislike. She hates cleaning the floor. Now we have a game for you. My friends' hobbies. Look at the picture.
picture and click on the right option to complete the sentence. My cousin V doesn't like cooking. He doesn't like eating apples. They love playing table tennis. She hates playing the piano. He enjoys gardening. She likes dancing. Homework. First, do exercises 5 in your notebook. Second, review the grammar, the present simple, the future simple, and the verbs of liking plus verb in. Third, prepare for unit 2, health. Thank you for your listening.